On aimerait maintenant vous souhaiter la bienvenue à Ville de Côte-Saint-Luc, Québec. Well, thank you. Thank you to Infrastructure Canada and to the Government of Canada for allowing us to participate in this project. You know, we all hope to be seniors one day, and we're here today to improve your lives because this is what our project's about. And for the last 50 years or more, the city of Cote St. Luke has been on this, this mission. We have one of the only volunteer organizations for emergency medical services with over 100 volunteers. We have volunteer citizens on patrol with over 100 volunteers and special programs for our seniors, including a drop-in center for people with dementia. In our community, over 30% of the population are seniors. And the prediction for Canada in 20 to 30 years is that's where we'll all be in this great nation. So we are a living lab for the future of Canada. And we want to protect the one in three people in our community that live alone as seniors. And through technology, we have been implementing in our pilot project all types of technology in people's homes that can give alerts if their blood pressure goes up, if their sugar level goes up, if they fall. We even have an airbag that can stop them from breaking their hip if they fall, if that's their tendency. There's all types of technology, even a pill box to make sure that you don't forget to take your pills. And if you forget, we get an alert and our dispatch center will call the appropriate service, whether it's medical services or something else that you might need to come and respond. But just as importantly is connectivity to our community. And our technology allows seniors living alone to participate in the lecture at the library, the movie, or to speak to their grandchild in Singapore without even picking up their finger, speaking to a robotic person and telling them, hey, I want to speak to Johnny and there he appears. So we hope that we can change the lives for all of us as we age and that we become independent, healthy seniors living productive lives in our own homes, not having to be placed in senior residences, and that will happen in Cote St. Luke and across Canada. All right, the challenge really drove us to think like entrepreneurs. Seniors are faced with a solution landscape that is ever evolving and is difficult to navigate. Many technologies exist, but are often expensive and largely operate in silos. Also, privacy issues pose tremendous concerns and challenges that need to be addressed. We were delighted to discover that seniors actually want technology in their lives. Many thrive with it and, and see it as a key part of what's going to keep them safe and connected in the future. We were happy to hear that seniors had already taken matters into their own hands, acquiring all sorts of products, from sensors to wearables to mobile apps and more, either for themselves or their loved ones, and encouraged others to do the same. The current status quo, however, as we say, is chacun pour soi, or to each their own, giving an opportunity for the city to leverage its trusted relationship with residents to get involved and, and innovate. So the village platform breaks down silos and leverages smart devices, data science, and apps to, create, to bring communities closer. Issues related to falls, carbon monoxide levels, or someone leaving the stove on for four hours would be much better managed and see faster responses. Smart watches or voice assistants, for example, could trigger alerts to emergency services, as was mentioned, or someone else according to a person's preferences and situation. So our proposal is completely aligned with the future of healthcare, where digital health will continue to drive innovation, produce better and faster outcomes, and deliver care to wherever the patient happens to be. We have an opportunity to literally save, save lives and create delightful everyday experiences for seniors and their loved ones. When we talk about smart cities, we're talking about human intelligence. Our needs are no different than they have always been. We seek safety and security. We don't want to have to struggle with daily life. And most of all, we want to connect with other people. The Village Initiative does all of these things. Indeed, social transformation and innovation are a core part of our project. We did a lot of community engagement. What we learned had a major impact on the direction our project would take. Social isolation was a serious issue for our residents. The older adults we spoke to wanted to feel a bit more secure both inside and outside their homes. They didn't want to be merely kept alive, however. They wanted to thrive and be part of their community and without being a burden on their family or the healthcare system. What they needed was a network to keep an eye on them, to help them get around, to lend a hand with small tasks, to come if there's a problem to be around to chat. What they needed, in other words, was a village. After we told people about our project, everyone we spoke to, 
Every single one had a story they relayed about their family, their members, their loved ones, their friends, and how they wish our project had been in place and how they could have prevented decline. During one of our public consultations, some of our residents said they had nobody to turn to if something happened to them. In Code St. Luke with the Village Initiative, we can ensure that that will never happen again. Thank you. Merci beaucoup, Ville de Côte-Saint-Luc. Your passion is infectious. Bonne chance. <laughs>